So, Ross Travers, uh, perhaps you could solve the mystery for us. Uh, a friend of mine and I were out for a hike yesterday, and we both noticed there's no dog berries. No dog berries. Why is right. that? Uh, well, as, a, uh, as far as I can gather, there's a number of factors, but the, the two main factors is the fact that last year we had a very big crop of dog berries. Every tree was loaded, and so that takes a lot of energy, and so they didn't set many flower buds because the flower buds are set one year for the next mm -hmm. in July. And so, uh, and last year, July, if you remember, it was really cold. Yes. And so, uh, the fl a lot of flower buds didn't set. So, in terms of this year, then, um, how how rare is it to have no to have dogberries so scarce? Uh, it's uh, not uncommon, but uh, it is a bit uh, unusual uh, for um, uh, to have none. Mm -hmm. Like on this tree right here, there's uh, there's no uh, dogberries at all. Do you remember the last time you 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 saw them this scarce? Uh, uh, no, I mean there's usually a few. Yeah. Now there's good news. Yes. T tell me tell me about the good news. Well, the 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 flower buds are set in the buds, like I said, in July for mm -hmm. next year. Yeah. And so you can cut open a bud and you can see inside the uh, the starting of the flower. Mm -hmm. We're looking at the flower bud and the, and the leaves are on the outside of the flower bud. You see, you see yes. the green on the outside? Yes. That's yeah. the leaves yeah. for next year. Yeah. And this is the flower bud for next year. Okay. Yep. So, so she's all set up. For all set up for next year. Yeah. Lots of dogberries next year. Yeah. So it looks like a good crop next year. L let me ask you about the old wives tale. Yeah. You know, the old wives tale that uh, if the dogberries are scarce, the winter's going to be mild. If they're plentiful, it's going to be a, a severe winter. What about that? Any merit to it at all? Well, uh, it's wishful thinking, I think. But uh, if it's lots of dogberries, then that means lots of feed for the birds. So uh, that means that if there's a bad winter, then the, the birds got lots of feed. But uh, uh, it can tell the it can predict the, the uh, it can't predict the the, the um, future, but it can predict the history. Yeah. So yeah. last year we know what happened. Yeah. So so no dogberries this year, but but plenty next year. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Ross Travers, thanks for talking to okay, me. Okay, Jonathan. Yes.